I'm going to start off and I want to invite some audience participation for this first number. Would you be up for that, folks? Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to ask you to sing a bit later on, but not yet. For this one, I want you to shout. And when I sing, come on in, I want you to shout, come on in. I want to shout it, I want you to shout it so they hear it on all the bridges. Can you do that? Because this, this is otherwise a mediocre song. With the audience participation, it becomes uh, quite good to very good, depending on your level of participation. <laughs> Every now and again, I play in a, a little dive bar in Brooklyn called the Irish Haven. Anybody been to the Irish Haven? The Irish Haven has been open since 1964. Rumour has it that it has in fact been open since 1964. But they do not have a key. This is inspired by some of the characters I met there. Shall we rehearse your part? When I do, come on and you shout it. Pretty good, you can do better. Come on in, it's safe and sound. In this company of strangers, we have found that was all right. There's room for improvement. A lonely lad has keeper stuck on Ocean Parkway. The traffic moves this slow, gets me thinking of the waves. I'm searching through the static for the ghost of that old tune And the girl I love the most, I lost on money I've been you up the morning to the night You don't have to hide your broken parts She's moving like a red sky Across the sailor's morning She's in trouble Well, we know it, yeah That is why we're drawn in at I've been there with my own two feet Seen it with my own two eyes We're Atlantic and Pacific Me Beneath the Brooklyn sky I come on in I to the dark Ladies and gentlemen, uh, 
Tony DeMarco, you can see he runs a very tight ship here oh, yeah. at the Tranfest. And um, obviously they, they see how many people come in, they see how much booze is sold, but they also count how many woohoos each, each act gets. So I'm very happy to get a woohoo after my, uh, my first song. And um, so thank you for the woohoo. I'll move on now to the second number, which is... Um, This one was featured in a, a film that the a Northern Irish um, writer, uh, Colin Broderick, a lot of you know Colin Broderick, I'm sure, put out, a, I was going to say last year, but it was the year before last, or maybe the year before, the year before last. This one is in um, uh, Emerald City, Colin's film, so check that out. And it's, uh, this, one, uh, this one lifted me out of uh, obscurity into relative obscurity. And uh, I, I'm trying to become really, 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 really gradually very successful. Um, so we're on about my 80th birthday, I'll be packing this place for myself. But in the meantime, this is a song called Skin and Bones, and you were good at the singing there. And if you want to sing in this one, the melody is your skin and bones and blood without love. You can make up your own melody. That's what I did.
thank you for, for, for that additional applause and for those uh, additional woohoos. Though I have to note that some of those woohoos, they seemed a little insincere. And ladies and gentlemen, whatever side of the political uh, climate we fall on, I think we can all agree that we have enough problems without introducing fake woos. So sincere woos from now on only, please. This is a song called Beef for Salmon. Beef for Salmon, as most of you probably know, a, a common choice of dish at an Irish wedding. Also the name of a very famous racehorse. I remain unconvinced that the two things are unconnected. I've had some questionable beef at some questionable weddings. But this song is not about that. This is a song about two fishermen doing a bit of daytime drinking sitting in a small fishing village with a drinking problem, talking about all the stuff they could do, all the stuff they would do, and all the stuff that they will not do, because they're too busy talking about it. A bit like me and the introduction to this song. Oh, 
song. Thank you so much. We have time for a couple more, I think. And if you like what you're hearing, my name is Niall Connolly, and I have some CDs for sale. If you do not like what you hear, my name is uh, Tony Murphy, but I happen to have a bag of Niall Connolly CDs with me, and you might like him. I have a, um, I have a one-year-old, I have a one-year-old baby girl at home. Thank you. And, uh, Um, I have one-year-old baby, baby girl at home, when she was born, my friend Jim, uh, most people said the traditional congratulations thing. My friend Jim sent me a message to, saying, uh, now you're going to write 2,000 terrible songs and start to make some serious money. I hope he's right. But this is one of the first songs that I wrote for her, and it's about uh, uh, seeing my ancestors in her eyes. And, uh, uh, if you don't like this one, please don't clap, because it's a new song. And I, I wouldn't want to dilute the back catalogue with a, with a bad new song. Everything's alright, everything's just fine, everything's alright. Hey. Everything's just fine. But in this house, if you wanna cry, you can cry in it you like. It's alright. It's alright. I was thinking about my mother and my father and their fathers and their mothers. Two as I stood above your cradle, looking down at you into your eyes. So oh, so For a moment I swear I saw lining up looking back at me through you Saying everything's alright, everything's just fine, everything's alright Everything's just fine Folk canon, so if you would sing along with me at the end, that would help me do that. And um, you'll know what to do by the time it comes around. This is a song about James Connolly, song from the perspective of his daughter uh, Nora and his wife Lily. Thank you.
We might have fought and fought for justice, for our country to be free. He was my father first and foremost, and I sat on his feet. I remember his voice and the words he said to me. Before my father, he went down, down in history. Oh, Lily, don't you cry. Lily, don't you cry. Say them alone up to the factory girls They'll be singing here no more Well the factory girls in unison They walked on of the door Do not tell us when to talk Do not tell us when to sing As long as we have voices Our voices will be king In order nor don't you cry, I've lived the fullest of life. Well, my father, he was wounded Easter 1916, stretcher by a boy of only 14. The boy he tried to take, the bullet slammed for me. As long as we have boys like that, our country will be free. And nor don't you cry, nor don't you cry. I have lived the fullest of lives. At 1 a.m. on May the 12th, the message it was sent, the prisoner Connolly. His wife and eldest daughter does request Dublin under curfew, such a strange and sorry sight. Oh, Lily, you know that this means goodbye. But Lily, don't you cry? Lily, don't you cry? The nurse, I am bound to search you, but I do not think I can. I see that prisoner, but virtuous, proud family man. There's little I can do now, or do what I can. They carried my wounded father. For all workers to be free He said I pray for all men Who must do their duty And Lily Dump Lily Dump
don't you cry, I have lived the fullest of lives. Come on, guys. Thank you very much. Well, Connolly, give him the thanks he deserves.